Winter was passing, but there were still one or two late frosts which made everything look sugar-coated and sparkling in the spring sunshine. Each morning, Donald and Douglas took it in turns to bring a ballast train from the small railway, and James then pulled the trucks to a place where the line was being mended. One morning, Donald was uncoupled and ran ahead into a short siding to let James take his place at the front of the trucks. But a hard frost had made the rails icy. When Donald tried to stop, his wheels locked and they slid on the ice. Before he could say, that controller, he hit the buffers at the end of the siding. The buffers stopped him, that was what they were for, but they were badly damaged. Donald was lucky, he wasn't hurt at all just embarrassed. The other engines teased him. You should go in for skating championships, they said. Even Donald laughed, though he was worried about what the Fat Controller might say. But the Fat Controller only warned him to be more careful. He knew it hadn't really been Donald's fault. The next day, men were sent to mend the buffers. James's repair work on the line was ending. Tomorrow's train, Douglas, will be the last for the time being the fat controller told him. The next day, as Douglas drew his loaded trucks to a halt in their sidings, James was waiting. Here you are, James, Douglas said cheerfully. What are you going to do now this job's finishing? Pull some passenger trains, I hope, replied James. I'm getting tired of doing the same thing all the time. Never mind, said Douglas. Today's the last one. His fireman uncoupled the trucks and climbed back into the cab. Then, Douglas puffed slowly into the short siding. At the end of the siding, the men who had been mending the buffers were standing to one side. They had pots of paint beside them and had just finished painting the buffer bar bright red. That looks very smart, thought Douglas, much better than it did before. The fat controller is probably glad that Donald smashed it up. He moved into the siding. His driver put on the brakes. Nothing happened. The driver tried again. Still nothing. Horrors! exclaimed Douglas. I can't stop! The workmen watched in dismay. Ouch! exclaimed Douglas, opening his eyes cautiously. That hurt! The new buffers had stopped him, but unfortunately, Douglas had been moving faster than Donald. He was in a terrible mess. His front was badly bent and he was smeared with the bright red paint which hadn't had time to dry. You silly great engine, scolded the foreman waving his paintbrush angrily. It still had red paint in it and some of the paint flew out and stuck on Douglas's nose. Three days work, the foreman said crossly, and in three seconds you come and smash it all to pieces. Douglas's front wheels were off the rails, so James had to come and rescue him. Later, the Fat Controller spoke sternly to Douglas about engines not taking care in sidings, and the red paint was left on Douglas's nose as a reminder.